Rivera's dream is about to come true. Together with his organ sextet, he will perform for the first time at the Litchfield Jazz Festival. Working on music, working on compositions, and for it to be premiered on this festival is an amazing feeling. It's especially poignant considering a dozen years ago, Albert was one of these kids, a camper at the Litchfield Jazz Camp. <laughs> The four-week camp leads up to the Jazz Festival and is a chance for musicians from all over Connecticut and the country to learn from some of the best, including legendary jazz pianist Junior Mance, who fears legendary just means old. You're in the legendary category. Oh, I hate yeah, to break it down. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me some of the names you've played with, people you played with. Oh, I've played with... Uh, Dizzy Gillespie, Lester Young, Diana Washington. Now Mance is working with potential jazz greats who will get to perform on a side stage at the festival that's held on the gorgeous grounds of Kent School. We can get six, seven, eight hundred people in one spot listening to, uh, you know, a 14-year-old singer with her backup band. The best thing about the festival is it combines legendary acts with emerging artists, and clearly, I'm not one of them. We, we have funk, we have jazz. If, if you're into music in general, this is a great festival to come. Um, especially this year, having someone like Trombone Shorty, who's very into funk, um, and then uh, guys like Roy Haynes, who are legends in jazz. Ticket prices vary. We're a nonprofit, so we have to pay our bills, but we don't have to make a lot of money, so we don't aim to do that. We aim to support the art and introduce it to as many people as we can. I don't think you ever stop learning jazz because there's always somebody new to come along with uh, something new. It's just, oh, wow, you know, and it's uh, very inspiring. You can be wowed at the Litchfield Jazz Festival this weekend. In Kent, Lauren Petty, NBC Connecticut News.